Hi guys, welcome back to more Ruby Chapter 3 and it's called a Minor Hiccup. So Weiss, you know, uh, I was thinking after this, maybe we could go grab a bite to eat? And, uh, you know, well, I I've got two tickets to that new Spruce Willis movie if you want to make the trip to Vale. I hear it's awesome. And then maybe after that we could study together? I mean, you're smart and I'm a, you know. And then I, oh, uh, timed that one wrong, I guess. Well, the stunning conclusion to the story will have to wait until next time. Weiss, did you hear me? No, 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 yes. <laughs> uh. One day. <laughs> Don't give out, Shane. I thought that class would never end. All right, guys, today's the day. The investigation begins! I'm glad to see we're taking this so seriously. Hey, we've got a plan. That's moderately serious. Right. Everyone remember their roles? You and I will head to the CCT to check the Schnee records for any other dust robberies or inconsistencies. Seeing as I'm in the family, it shouldn't be a problem. The White Fang has regular faction meetings to hand out orders and recruit new members. If I can get in, I can hopefully find out what they're planning. I have an old friend on the shady side of town that typically knows everything going on in Vale. Getting information out of him shouldn't be too hard. Great, we'll meet up tonight near Yang to go over what we found. Let's do this! Yeah! Son, how did you get up there? Uh, it's easy. I do it all the time. You do what? I come what? up here all the time. So, are we finally <laughs> getting back like, at that what? torture guy? We on are them? going to investigate the situation as a team. Sorry, son. We don't want to get friends involved if we don't have to. Pfft, that's dumb. You should always get friends involved. That's why I brought Neptune. No. Oh. <laughs> so. How did you even get up here? I have my ways. Seriously though, can I come in? We're like <laughs> really high up right now. <laughs> All right, I'll go with Weiss. Son, you can go with Blake. And Neptune, you can go with Yang since she doesn't have a partner. <laughs> Everyone good? Actually, Ruby, why don't you go with Yang? <laughs> After all, she is your sister. But Weiss, who would go with you then? What's well, wrong with him? I guess Neptune could come with me. <laughs> nah. But, but! <laughs> You should see the one in Atlas. That was the first one, right? Correct. Atlas developed the cross-continental transmit system to allow the four kingdoms to communicate with one another. It was their gift to the world after the Great War. Ooh, look at me. My name is Weiss. I know facts. I'm rich. <coughs> Don't be a pest. Besides, the only reason we're here is because you like the tower so much. We could have just as easily made a call from the library. I know, but it's so cool. Oh, I'm gonna take a picture. Oh, there goes her phone. Oh. oh, Penny! You dropped this. Penny? Uh... Where have you been? We haven't seen you since the night at the docks. S sorry, I think you're confused. Uh, you got I up. got to go. What was that about? I don't know, but I'm going to find out. You go make your call. I'll meet up with you later. Wait! Ugh. Penny, where have you been? It's been weeks. There seems to be a misunderstanding. What? Penny. Is everything okay? Penny, please stop. Look, I don't know what's wrong, but you have to listen to me. Those guys we fought at the docks, we think they're up to something big, something bad. I need you to tell me what happened to you that night. Please, as a friend. <sighs> it isn't safe to talk here. How may I help you? 
I'd like to go to the communications room, please. Absolutely. Could you please place your scroll on the terminal to verify your identity? Perfect. Thank you, Mishni. Welcome to the Beacon Cross Continental Transmit Center. How may I help you? I need to make a call to Schnee Company World Headquarters in Atlas. Absolutely. If you could head over to Terminal 3, I'll patch you through. Thank you. Hi, Mom. How are things back in Signal? calling the Atlas. Oh, Miss Snee. Good afternoon. Would you like me to patch you through to your father? I think your sister Winter might be here as well. No, thank you. I was actually wondering if you could find some files for me. I've compiled a short list. I see. If you don't mind, what may I ask is this for? School project. Um, right. Some sensitive documents on this list, ma'am. Well then, I'll be sure to treat them with care. Right. Very well. The data is being transferred to your school now. Wonderful. That will be all then. Are you sure you wouldn't like me to patch you through to your father before you go? Yes, I'm sure. Well then, have a nice day. I wish I could help you, Ruby, but I don't know anything about those men. Well, what happened to you that night? We were all together, and then you just disappeared. Were you kidnapped? Oh, no, nothing like that. Well, then where did you go? I've never been to another kingdom before. My father asked me not to venture out too far, but... Oh, you have to understand, my father loves me very much. He just worries a lot. <laughs> Believe me, I know the feeling. But... Why not let us know you were okay? I was asked not to talk to you. Or Weiss, or Blake, or Yang. Anybody, really. Was your dad that upset? No, it wasn't my father. The A3130 has been the standard security model of my for several years. And they have done a fine job. Wouldn't you agree? Wouldn't you agree? What? The Kingdom of Atlas is a kingdom of innovation. And fine? Well, that's just not good enough, is it? Presenting the Atlesian Knight. Smarter, sleeker, and admittedly, a little less scary. These models will become active later this year, but they won't be alone now. The Atlesian military has always supported the idea of removing men from the dangers of the battlefield. However, there are still many situations that undoubtedly require a human touch. Ruby? So, our kingdom's greatest minds, in cooperation with the Schnee Dust Company, are proud to introduce the Atlesian Paladin! Oh! Now, we couldn't have him here for you today. But these mechanized battleships will be seen defending the borders of our kingdom within the year. Hey, Ruby. Ruby. Maybe we should go somewhere else. Penny? Wait! Why is she running where are away? You oh. Down here. She went this way. Double boxes. Nice. Oh, 
young man. Are you okay? Uh-huh. <laughs> um uh Did you see that? No. Do you think she's okay? Penny, come back! Did you call the police? Did she stop that with her bare hands? Um Penny! Please! What is going on? Why are you running? How did you do that? I I can't. Everything's fine. I, I don't want to talk about it. Penny, if you can just tell me what's wrong, I can help you. No, no, no. You wouldn't understand. Let me try. You can trust me. You're my friend, right? You promise you're my friend? I promise. Ruby. I'm not a real girl. Oh, I know it. Oh. I will climb. Oh, Penny. I, I knew she wasn't human. The way she was fighting with the white fang and Roman. Hey guys, that was the end of episode 3. So in this episode, the girls are doing an investigation about everything that's going on. And Neptune and Sun, they joined them for the investigation. Alright, so in this episode, we also learned that Penny, it's a robot. Which I kind of knew she was because the way she acted. Like when she first fell down on the ground, she just stood there and the way she got up. The way her backpack opened up when she was... Uh, fighting I had a feeling she was a robot <laughs> and also I did notice that whenever Penny hiccups I think it's whenever she lies so she's like Pinocchio whenever she lies she hiccups when Pinocchio lies his nose grows and I wonder is the general her father Ooh, I wonder Ooh. Thanks for watching. Bye.